Konnichiwa! Hello, my name is Nikki and welcome to my channel. I totally forgot to film the intro for this video, so here it is. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine for morning slash evening time, and then I'm going to share with you guys my hair care routine because I do style my hair at night most of the time, and then I restyle it in the morning. This video is going to be a little lengthy because I do get into some of the skincare products that I'm using, kind of describe why I like them, why I use them, and all that good stuff. So if you're not into lengthy videos, I would advise watching a different one because this is going to be hella long. <laughs> if you're new here and you enjoy my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I post my videos. And of course, my disclaimer, if you are super sensitive to profanity or if you are easily offended, this is definitely not the place for you. I am a no filter bitch and I have no idea what's going to come out of this mouth. So keep that in mind while you're watching. Now, if you guys are interested in my morning and evening and my hair care routine, then just stay tuned. Today actually feels like the official first day of fall because it is 53 degrees outside it's raining it's very very cloudy it's windy and it's freezing it's freezing fucking cold in this house so i finally got to wear my first sweater ever of the season before i get into my skincare i just want to state that my skin is very very extremely dry and i have a lot of texture and i also suffer from acne so first let's start off with my skincare how i prep my skin for the day now i've already washed my face and i've been using this cleanser this is the Coors wild rose foaming cream cleanser now I am absolutely in love with this as you can see I'm almost finished with it it's all the way down here this is one of those cleansers that foams just mildly not too much to where it strips all the moisture from your face so after you wash this off you're not feeling like squeaky clean kind of like a you know when you're washing dishes and it makes that ew, ew sound your skin doesn't feel stripped and bare and like really really tight so that's why I like this if you're a dry skin person like me you want something that's not stripping because you don't want your face to feel tight after you're washing it that means all your moisture is gone and whatever cleanser you're using basically stripped what your face needs and so I really enjoy this cleanser and I just love the smell of it I love the consistency and I use this every single morning now I've already done this step but I've started recently using this guy this is the Ren Clean Skin Care Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA tonic god that's a long name now this is a little travel size or trial size i got this because i don't know yet anything about this brand but i've been wanting to try it for some time and so i got this from sephora with like my hundred points and i really like this it's actually improved a lot of the texture on my skin for a while i had like all this texture down here it was really dry but like kind of a scabby dryness now when i say scabby dryness i mean it's like a thick layer of skin that's really dry and anytime you go to touch it it's very very hard like texture it almost feels like a scab if you watch some of my recent foundation reviews you'll actually see the texture on my skin and ever since I've been using this I've only been using this for like a week now but it has drastically changed the texture around my mouth and so I've really been loving this and again I've only been using it for a week and so I put a little bit of a dent in there all I've been doing is taking this on a cotton pad wiping my face after I cleanse it and then on to the next step so this next step I have not done yet I have been using the grace and Stella say hi to hydration hyaluronic acid hydrating serum now this came in my cause box and I absolutely love this this has been giving me a lot more of that added moisture that I need I like to take about one and a half pumps and spread it all over my fingers and then I press it into the skin just get it all into the crevices and the sides of course the forehead and then I like to hit the neck always always you guys I don't know how much I can stress this enough always bring your skincare down your neck and if you're one of those people who really shows their chest down to your decollete which is like down here because this is where aging shows like most prominently like this is where people can tell your age is your neck the one thing I don't like about this serum is the packaging like I love the packaging it looks absolutely beautiful but the pump in here is so intense that anytime I you know put a pump in my hand I kind of have to close my hand a little bit because if not it's just 
it spurts everywhere because it's such an intense pump. I actually forgot to mention a step. After my cleansing, I like to exfoliate, especially if that day I'm wearing makeup. Today, I'm going to be wearing makeup because I need to run my errands. So I've been using the Awake Pineapple Polish Enzyme Scrub. Now, this is from, I believe, Tarte's skincare line. I have been extremely obsessed with this facial scrub. This is another travel size, trial size, and I have been really curious about this because it is a polish slash enzyme scrub. So whenever you hear the word polish in your skincare, there's most likely going to be physical granules inside where you can feel it exfoliate your skin. So maybe like little sugar crystals or whatever else they use in here. And then there's also enzymes, which always help kind of lift the dead skin cells off of your face. This, it's a little goes a long way type of product. And I absolutely love the smell. The smell is just so amazing. It's not like a super strong pineapple scent, but you can definitely smell the pineapple. And pineapple is one of my all-time favorite scents. Anything that's like pineapple, mango, strawberry, peach, I, I love it. All of it. So just that we're on the same wavelength here. First, I go in with my Coors cleanser. And then if I'm wearing makeup that day, I will go in with the Awake Pineapple Polish. After that, I will tone my skin with the Ren Clean Skin Care AHA Tonic. And then I put on my Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid Serum. All right, so now that we're back on track, the next thing I'm going to do is put on some more serum or this is kind of like a gel slash serum. This is the Bliss Bright Idea Vitamin C and Pro Collagen Brightening and Firm Serum. So this is a serum, but I feel it's kind of like a more jelly texture. Now this, I am like on my last couple of pumps, so I kind of have to shake it to get everything kind of layered down. Now the one thing about these uh, Bliss packagings I don't really like because once you get really low it doesn't come out like you have to sit here and kind of pump it out or you have to open the lid and there's all the product right there and so I like to just take that little uh, pump tube and then get some on my hands now what I like to do with this is I also like to take this in the palms of my hand and I like to press this into my skin. It has helped add so much hydration to my skin, which is probably the collagen working. But the fact that this also has vitamin C in it is also great for texture. It's great for dark spots, acne, hyperpigmentation, uh, aging, all that good stuff. If you don't have any vitamin C in your skincare, I advise that you get something with vitamin C in it. There are so many types of vitamin C out there that sometimes certain vitamin Cs are not going to work for you. I have learned over time that ascorbic acid type of vitamin C does not work for your girl here. So anything that says vitamin C and the main ingredient for that vitamin C is ascorbic acid, it just doesn't work for me. And so I have to find other particular vitamin C derivatives other than ascorbic acid if I'm going to want to see any kind of results on my face. Next, I'm going to go in with some eye cream. I always, always, always hydrate before I put any kind of makeup on. If I wasn't going to be wearing makeup today, I usually skip the eye cream and just kind of bring my moisturizer around my eyes but anytime I'm wearing makeup you always want to prep the skin underneath if you're going to wear eyeshadow you want to prep the skin over on your eyelid because you want as much hydration as you possibly can get because makeup always just sucks the moisture out of your skin especially if you're using powder to set your makeup and a lot of the times I always use powder on the under eyes because that's where you get creasing and movement the next product I'm going to be using is the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Eye Cream cream. This stuff, oh my god, I've had this for a while now and it's just, it doesn't take more than a pea-sized dollop this big to do basically my entire eye area. So what I like to do is take that dollop and kind of just mush it in between my ring fingers and I like to put this underneath and give it a little bit of a soft massage and then I bring it up to my eyelids, whatever I have left on my fingers. Now underneath your eyes is one of the most delicate areas and so you don't wanna be tugging and pulling down or doing any of that stuff. Always go upward or outward strokes because the more you tug and pull on your skin, the more wrinkles you get. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do here is moisturizer. Now I have two different moisturizers that I use because again, if I don't wear makeup, I use one type of moisturizer. If I wear makeup, I wear a different moisturizer 
because there's different types of way that I prep my skin for whatever is to come for that day. And so today, because I'm wearing makeup, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydro Full Retexturizing Gel Creme. God damn. I swear, I feel like every single year, the name of the products always get longer. Is that just me? I don't know. I actually recently got this at TJ Maxx for $5.99. I know it's fucking crazy. I saw this come out, I think sometime last year, and I wasn't really sure how I felt about it because the price tag on Marc Jacobs products is not cute. It's really expensive, but I have seen so many great reviews for this and I've just always been wanting to try it. And since I was walking through the aisles of TJ Maxx, I saw it, I just grabbed it, put it in my cart. No second thoughts, no nothing. Now, I believe this is a travel, yeah, it's a 0.5 fluid ounce bottle. So this is another travel slash trial size, which doesn't bother me at all because this shit is a little goes a long way. I'm just gonna take this on the tips of my fingers and I'm going to m lightly massage this into my skin. I like to get under my eyes as well. This just preps your skin so amazing lately. Like every single time I put this on, I just feel so refreshed. I don't know what it is, but it just sinks into the skin so beautifully. My skin, is super glowy and it doesn't have like that weird greasy feeling afterwards. You can tell that it has completely sunken into the skin and I just really, really like this moisturizer. Now, if today was one of those days where I was just staying inside, ain't going nowhere, wanted to be a lazy bum, I would use the e.l.f. CBD moisturizer. Now, this moisturizer is the CBD moisturizer. Now, with anything that has CBD and a number with milligram on it, like this guy has 50 milligrams of CBD, that means there is going to be THC in here, but there's not enough THC to really do anything to your body, to your system, nothing. Now, the law is that there has to be 0.3% THC or less for it to be able to be used in like skincare or body care, makeup, all that good stuff. THC is the certain chemical compound that is in marijuana and that is what gives you the euphoric effect. But with 0.3%, you ain't getting nothing. So all these people out there who are like, oh, it's CBD, it comes from weed, blah, blah, blah. It's still not gonna get you hot. Just because it says CBD on it doesn't mean it's a product that's gonna get you lit. It's just that there's a lot of great properties that go in with CBD. It is a great moisturizer. It also helps a lot with just very, very dehydrated skin. All right, so so now everything has completely set into my face. I feel like my moisturizer is completely soaked in and now I'm going to prep my skin for some makeup. First and foremost, I'm gonna sound like a broken record because this is something you need in your life. You need it. You need to put it on. Any single time you go outside for an extended period of time, you need to put sunscreen. I cannot stress this enough. The sun is the number one most skin ager, destroyer, everything. Everything that's in the UVA, UVB rays of the sun will damage your skin over time. So over time, you're going to get wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, sagging, you're gonna get burned like skin. Anything that touches the sun needs to have sunscreen on it period. My sunscreen that I'm going to be using and that is just my absolute favorite. This sunscreen, you guys, works for anyone. It doesn't matter how pale or how deep dark you may be. This is my favorite sunscreen so far, hands down. This sunscreen is the Purito Centella Green Level Safe Sun SPF 50. Now, this does have a little bit of a green tint to it, but that is because there is Centella in here. Now, the other reason why I love this is because if you're an acne sufferer like me. You want Centella Asiatica as a ingredient in any of your skincare because that will help not only with your redness, but it also helps with inflammation and any kind of acne outbursts that you may have. So I really, really love this sunscreen because not only does it sink into the skin absolutely beautifully, but it doesn't leave a white cast and it also helps with a lot of my redness. Also, it's not extremely greasy and it doesn't smell like sunscreen, which I know a lot of people do not like the smell and so I just overall this is just the best sunscreen so if you don't have a sunscreen you're looking for one get this guy because I tell you right now it will not 
fail. Now, last thing I have to do for my skin to get ready for makeup is some primer. Now, I have been using this. This is my tried and true everyday ride or die primer for before I apply my makeup, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer because this is a primer and a moisturizer in one. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why the hell would I need any more moisturizer, especially when my face is this fucking glowy? That's because, again, my skin is dry as fuck. So I need any kind of added hydration that I can get. So the way I like to apply this is something I have recently been doing and I have seen a drastic change in the way I do my makeup. I like to take the primer on the back of my hands and I will take the Luxie small contouring brush, which is this guy right here, and I will put the primer on my face with the brush. The one reason why I like this so much is because of the buffing motions, you're really getting that primer into your pores. You're really getting this where it needs to be. And a lot of the time I have a lot of dryness like right here around my nose and the sides of my mouth and right here on my forehead. So with this brush, I can concentrate where I need that extra primer and that extra moisturizer. So first I kind of like to apply this like all over my face, make sure everything is nice and primed. And this again, it just really gets it into the pores. So around my nose area, I like to go in circles to really get it into the pores, really get it sunken in because this is what's gonna help you have more of a flawless finish with the foundation because you're not gonna have um, a bunch of dryness, dry flakes, any of that stuff. So I just like to do this in circular motions and I feel like it just makes the primer absorb into my skin so much better. So that is my morning slash daytime skincare routine because it is definitely not morning right now. It is about to be 4 p.m. Girl got a really late start to the day. So I'm going to finish up my makeup and I am going to run my errands and then I will see you guys for my nighttime skincare routine. So basically you guys are gonna be getting unready with me to where you will see me take off all my makeup and then I will share with you guys my nighttime skincare routine so I will see you guys tonight all right so I went and ran my errands ate some dinner relaxed a little bit and now it's time for me to take a shower I am a night shower because I just don't believe in getting into your sheets with a crusty body <laughs> so I like to take my showers at night that way I know I'm getting into my sheets all nice and clean clean so for my makeup because everyone's wearing masks right now I do a very very light makeup whenever I go out I only have a little bit of eyeshadow mascara some powdered brows and the only foundation I'm wearing is the number seven protect and perfect all-in-one foundation I love this because it looks like skin and it doesn't cling to any of my dryness and it doesn't have a lot of coverage but that's okay because again my mask covers the majority of my face and so I'm not trying to wear like a full coverage foundation I want to make sure I have all my hair away from my face when I do this because I always get the makeup remover in my hair but today I'm going to be uh washing my hair anyway because it is just full of product buildup and I'll share with you guys how I style my hair and all that as well so to take my makeup off because again I have dry skin I have been using the bliss makeup melt I love this stuff especially if you have dry skin this stuff is amazing now you can use this one or two ways you can use it as a regular cleanser or you can use it as a makeup remover I like to use this as both so today because I'm wearing makeup you put this on when your skin is dry So I would put this on right now now if you're using it as a regular cleanser and you're in the shower You basically wet your face and use this it doesn't foam at all So I like to use it more as a makeup remover than I do a cleanser just because I like a foaming Cleanser whenever I wash my face just because I feel like I'm kind of getting it all off You know all the gunk so for this I'm just gonna go in with dry hands you only only need one pump of this it's pretty damn big it's a very very jelly like consistency look at that it's just running down my hands and I am just going to massage this into my face on my dry face and it's going to take all the makeup off. Whenever I'm doing this, I do this very lightly. I'm not putting really any pressure on my eye area. I kind of like to do this little thing here because the lower lash mascara is always really hard to get off, especially when you're in the shower. You kind of notice that your mascara ends up running 
kind of towards like the bottom lash line area down here. So this stuff I really like because I can open my eyes like I am now and it doesn't sting like all hell. So I really like this because it's very, very gentle and when you wash it off, all the makeup comes off with it. I am a double cleanser. Double cleansing is when you use a oil cleanser or something like this, you wash it off and then you go in with a regular face cleanser to get any of the residual oil, makeup, gunk, whatever else you have on your face. Now that I have my makeup, up all nice and broken down I'm gonna go hop in the shower and then I'll be right back to share with you guys the rest of my skincare and my hair care routine oh bitches feeling fresh and clean my skin is already feeling a little tight <laughs> because whenever I get out of the shower and I don't put on skincare right away my face you know because it dries air dries it gets really really tight so let's go ahead with the first product now the first product I am going to be going in with is the same product I went in with in my morning routine which is the Ren Clean Skin Care Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. Now I like to put this on a little cotton pad that I have here and I'm just going to sweep this all over the face. Now this is great for chemical exfoliating which I need a lot of because my skin is just always in need of any kind of exfoliating. So at night I don't really do any physical exfoliating like the uh, Awake Pineapple Polish because I have this little guy to help me out. Now the only reason why I use that polish during the day is because I wear makeup <laughs> during the day most times and so with that polish it gets rid of any dead skin cells or any kind of gunk that I have on my face that needs to come off. But with this guy because it is a chemical exfoliant I like to use it during the day and the nighttime. The next product I'm going to be going in with is again the Grace and Stella Hyaluronic Acid because I need that extra moisture. So I'm going to take a pump of this and going to spread it in my palms and we're going to press it into the face. You can tell just how sticky this product is, but I really, really like that because it kind of gets you ready for the next product that you're going to put on your face. The next thing I'm going to be putting on this is like my die hard favorite. This is, I believe, my second or third bottle. I want to say it's my third bottle. This is the Bliss Glow and Hydrate Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Now, I love this stuff because it has niacinamide in it. Niacinamide is so great for any kind of hyperpigmentation, dark spots, acne, acne scarring. It's great for hydration. It's literally just everything that you want in your skincare. What I like to do is take about two pumps and spread it around on my fingers and apply to the face. First, I like to spread it out and then I'm going to pat it into the skin. Always pat it into the skin for that nice extra absorption. That way you're pressing it kind of into your pores and into the nook and crannies. And this way your skin will better absorb the product instead of just smearing it on top. Now that I have those two things on, I'm gonna go in with some eye care. Now with eye care, I, don't believe that you have to have a, an eye cream, but I like to take this extra step because wrinkles, <laughs> what bitch wants wrinkles? Nobody. So I like to incorporate a retinol into my skincare. Now that's not only for my face, but for my eyes as well. Your eye area is a very delicate area. It's more prone to wrinkling as well because this is where you show your expressions when you're smiling or when you're frowning or when you're mad. You know, you always get like the little creases here in the middle. So I like to take the inky list retinol and all eye cream. I am not particularly fond of this product because of the consistency. It's really freaking weird. It almost comes out as liquid and then the cream comes out later. It's so strange. I wish they would change the packaging because this is one of those products that you want to be able to like shake and mix because as time goes on and the product sitting in this tube, it kind of separates a little bit. And that's the only thing that I do not like about this cream. Other than that, it is absolutely absolutely amazing. Do you see the consistency of that? It's almost like cottage cheese, which really bothers me. And that's what I'm talking about when I say that the product separates. It looks like cottage cheese. I like to take this between my ring fingers, just like I do with my day eye cream. And I like to put this underneath here. I like to spread it out. And then whatever I have left, I like to massage on top. And then I'll go in and pad this underneath my eyes and I like to get the corners because this is where you get crow's feet because that's when you know when you're showing expression this all gets crinkled up so when you smile you have all of this right here that's going to scrunch up and so you want to use 
retinol on your under eyes because that's where you get saggy eyelids on the top so you don't have crepey eyelids and then of course you want to hit the sides so you don't get those crow feet because nobody wants crow's feet especially you know when you get older because it's also going to be a lot harder to get makeup to stay looking nice because the more wrinkles you have the more creases you're going to get that's why you want to incorporate retinol into your skincare because it's not only great for wrinkles but it's an anti-aging ingredient and so retinol all is just perfect for basically everything so you just want it in your skincare if you can get it the next thing I'm going in with is something that is prescribed so I'm not gonna show you guys like the tube but this is a prescribed retinol cream this is something I get from my dermatologist and I put it on every single night because this is what helps keep my acne at bay so what I like to do is I like to take about this much I know it seems like a lot and it kind of is but this stuff really sinks into my skin and I like to use it everywhere because this is what's keeping you know the acne away and this is what is helping like my frown lines right here so I like to go in outward upward motions and give myself a little bit of a face massage I don't really use the retinol cream on my forehead because my forehead is very very sensitive to retinol it always dries out my forehead for some reason so I like to take a really minimal amount just like this and I like to put it right in between my brows because this is where I get like little tiny blackheads. It's also where my frown lines are. And ever since I've been using this stronger um, upgraded retinol that my dermatologist gave me, I have noticed that my frown lines are not as prominent and noticeable as they were before I started using retinol. So let me make this clear. I called the cream retinol because it is a type of retinol, but I'm actually using tretinoin. So if you guys do see a dermatologist or your doctor, you can ask them hey can I get some of that tretinoin and that is going to be a great lifesaver for any kind of dark spots that you have any kind of wrinkles or maybe you have active acne on your face if you just put a little dollop of that shit on your acne it's gonna suck it dry and by the next morning it's gonna be half its size so tretinoin or aka retin-a is just amazing for the skin and that is why you should definitely include it into your skincare routine so after I'm done with the tretinoin aka retin-a I am going to go in with with some moisturizer. If you are using any kind of retinol, you need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I cannot stress that enough because retinol, aka tretinoin, aka vitamin A, will dry your skin out severely. So you need to be careful when you're using retinol. And that's another reason why you need to wear sunscreen because it is very skin sensitizing. For my moisturizer, I'm going in with the Murad Hydrodynamic Quenching Essence. Now, I recently found this at TJ Maxx, I think a month and a half ago and you guys I have never in my life seen such a tremendous change in my dry skin especially with hydration since I use this now I've been using this for a month now and oh my god the dryness is like half of what it used to be now a lot of the time whenever I'm dry I get it around my mouth and around my nose and right here on my forehead this has just really transformed my skin I just cannot justify how much this is even though it's extremely amazing for hydrating it's just not within my price point I believe this thing is like 70 something dollars and I, I I just can't do that like that to me is just really expensive especially for one fluid ounce like I can't do that but I'm gonna enjoy it for as long as I have it and then if I ever see it again at TJ Maxx best believe bitch is gonna be on it because this stuff is amazing now if this is in your price range and you are a dry crusty girl or guy like me I totally recommend this this stuff is amazeballs and I cannot get over it let me shut up let me apply this to my face I like to take about one and a half pumps there right here on the tips of my fingers and I like to rub it all out and then we're going to apply to the face. I cannot get over the smell of this. Like it just smells so fucking amazing. I can't get over it. It feels amazing. It smells amazing. And it does wonders for hydration. I never thought that one little measly cream could do anything. You know, like I always thought you have to incorporate that. You have to add this. You have to add that. But if you have a really good moisturizer and you don't have any other skin problems like me, like acne or discoloration or hyperpigmentation, any of that stuff, and you're just one of those 
lucky ass people who have flawless skin but need a little bit of hydration definitely recommend this stuff because it is just so fucking amazing last step of my skincare routine is something that i usually do right before bed but i'm gonna do it right now anyways just to kind of show you guys what i do with this i like to close out the night with a good oil i believe that whether you're oily dry combination normal you should put on an oil at night just because it really helps everything that you put on your face up until this point stay intact so your skin can get all the benefits that it needs from those particular products. I like to use a rose hip oil because that's great for skin texture and it's also great for hyperpigmentation, also great for hydration, which is why I love rose hip oil. I'm trying the Heritage Store rose hip seed oil. It's flat out rose hip seed oil, nothing more, nothing less. Now I tried the ordinary rose hip seed oil and I liked it, but for some reason after I got to like a little bit towards the bottom of the bottle, I didn't see anything change on my skin after a while and so I was like what the hell like do I need to try a different rosehip seed oil so I've been trying this one and I'm about a quarter of the way through and this has just really really helped with any kind of super texture that I have going on a lot of the dryness that I have on the sides of my mouth has really been helping with this stuff especially around my nose oh my god you guys my around my nose is just like a peely flaky mess and the rosehip oil has really really changed that so what I like to do is I like to take about one pump one and a half pumps and again all over the palms and then I press it into my skin I like to do massages as well when I'm doing the oil for the last step of my skincare routine. I like to kind of just stretch everything in an upwards motion just like this. So in the middle here, you always want to press up and then around your eyebrows, if you want, you can take your fingers press and go down all the way to your temple this is where your lymph node or your drainage is so whenever you have a poofy face you can easily give yourself a facial massage and get rid of that poofiness that swollenness like when you wake up in the morning gets your blood flowing in your face which is what you want because you're that way your skin's constantly going it's working it's doing its thing it's taking these products sucking it in absorbing it and getting it to work always upward outward motions never none of this never none of this you just want to push everything up and out and I really really like doing this because it just gets everything nice and flowing and where your lymphatic drainage is is right here in your temples and right here by your jawline so for the jaw I like to kind of just push this all up into that area below the ears what I like to do is I take my fingers and just kind of press along the jawline that way you're kind of you know, getting all the nasty sitting stuff underneath your skin and you're getting it to move. That is all I do for my nighttime skincare. Now, whenever you're doing your skincare routine and you have as many products as I do, you want to wait a couple of minutes in between, you know, putting on the next product because you want your skin to be able to absorb that particular product and get all the nutrients or whatever ingredients are in there into your skin. You want to give your skin time to absorb that. So definitely leave like a minute or two in between each product that you're putting on on your face next i'm going to show you guys how i do my hair for the longest time i thought my hair was just really frizzy unruly and thick and i had a lot of it and it was just oily and gross no i have been doing my hair wrong basically my entire life since the day i could do my own hair my hair is textured it's coarse it's wavy and i have a lot of it so i have very voluminous hair i fucking hate it i can't stand it and so for the last four to five months, I have not put a single thing of heat to my hair. I've not touched it with a curling iron, straightening iron, or a blow dryer. I have air dried my hair for the last four to five months. And let me just say, beach, my hair has transformed. It feels healthier. It feels softer. It feels shinier, less dual, and it's wavy. And I just, I love it so much. So for my shampoo and conditioner, I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm going to throw it up here on the screen because, you know, the bottles are in the shower. One thing I love about the shampoo is that it's such a great lather. I love a great lathering shampoo. Now, if you're doing the curly hair method, you cannot have any kind of silicones or sulfates or parabens, that kind of stuff for your hair. And that's why I 
like Shea Moisture because they don't have any of that stuff. So I have very thick, very coarse, very textured, very wavy hair. And so after I get out of the shower, I wrap it up in that towel and now my hair is damp. It's not very like drippy with water. It's like the perfect amount of wetness slash dryness. Just a heads up, all the products I'm using right now for my hair are Shea Moisture. It is not at all sponsored, but I just love these products so much. I have tried so many curly slash wavy hair products. I have an entire ta Target bag full of products that I don't like and Shea Moisture has just been hands down the best so far. The first thing I'm going to be using is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Multi-Action Leave-In. I swear to you, every single product is getting longer and longer with the names. Now I... I'm obsessed with this stuff. This detangles my hair so amazingly. Like I don't feel like I have to be rough with my hair when I'm brushing it. Now, if you are someone with wavy, curly, coily hair, you normally don't brush your hair because that really kind of damages your hair when you're pulling and tugging, especially if you have breakage on the end, which is where most of your hair breakage does occur because split ends. What I like to do is while my hair is damp and wet like this, I'm gonna give this guy a good shake because it does separate and kind of sits in the bottle a little bit. And I'm just going to generously apply this to my hair. Now, the reason why I'm blocking my face is because I put on skincare. I don't want hair care on my face. Another tip I want to give you guys is that if you are someone who does your hair at night with your skincare like I'm doing now, try to do your hair care last because whenever you're doing skincare and you're putting in products in your hair and you're touching it, you don't want to go in with hair product on your hands and put on skincare. That will make your face break out. So always be careful to make sure that if you do touch your hair products, wash your hands before you do skincare or do your skincare first, then your hair products last. So now that I've sprayed the yogurt spray, I am actually going to brush my hair because I want to get all the tangles out. I only like to brush the top parts and then I like to spray the bottoms because that's where you get a lot of your breakage, your split ends. And look at that. It's just like so smooth. I don't have to like go over like my hair again, if that makes sense. Here it's like a little bit voluminous, kind of tangled. And I like to just take the yogurt spray, kind of twist it in there and then bam, it's not tangled anymore. Like I just love this stuff as a detangler and just as an extra hydration to my hair because my hair is very dry. All right, so last product I'm gonna be going in with is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I actually got this in the travel size section or the trial size because again, I don't like buying products or full size products if I don't know how they're going to work. But this stuff is fucking amazing. If you have wavy, curly hair. I totally recommend this. This stuff is just, oh my God, this makes my waves look like they've been styled by a stylist, a hairstylist. For this, I like to separate my hair. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of separate this into two little clusters here of hair. And I'm going to put about this much. So maybe like a quarter size. And this is going to do basically one side of my hair. And what I like to do again is spread everything in the palms. And I like to finger brush this into my hair. For one hand, I like to go under underneath the hair and for my other I like to get the strands that are on top and so that way I'm making sure I have this product all over in my hair. I do have a little bit of product left on the palms of my hand and that's where this next technique comes in. I like to scrunch my hair. Now if you're someone who has coily or wavy or curly hair you know this method. This is basically like the cinching method where you take your hair and you cinch it up. I've tried so many products you guys and every single time they would give me lovely little waves just like this and then all of a sudden I have frizz like I look like a freaking you know bomb head like where the frizz is just everywhere so I need things that are going to be anti-frizz that is really going to help the frizziness of my hair stay down but I also don't want weighed down hair to where it looks like it's so oily I haven't washed your hair in days and it's just weighed down you don't want that either so I like the fact that this is great for my frizz it doesn't weigh my hair down and it gives me really nice loose waves. So I'm going to do the same thing again on the other side, this side. So again, same amount. And I'm just going to spread this into the palms of my hand. And one hand will be on top 
the other will be on bottom getting all the other extra strands if there's any other like affordable curly slash wavy headed products out there leave them in the comment section because I'm just really on the hunt for anything that's gonna give me good waves without the frizz and that's not gonna weigh my hair down and it's gonna keep the waves a lot of the times these products may make my hair wavy but once it's dry it's like all gone and I just look like I have a big ass poof on my head and a lion's mane but with this I just oh, I just love it so as you can see it is very very wavy I don't have curls it's just I don't know it's like my hair doesn't know if it wants to be straight or wavy it just can't make up its damn mind I'm going to put half of my hair up because again I don't want the hair product touching the sides of my face because that is going to make me more prone to breakouts and yeah girl does not need any more breakouts because I've already been destroying my skin myself enough so let's just get this hair out of the way so that is all that I do for my morning and evening skincare routine and my hair routine whenever it's time for me to wash my hair and today just happened to be one of those days hopefully this video helps you maybe choose some products that you might have been eyeballing for a while or you weren't sure if you were gonna purchase maybe now you'll purchase it or maybe you won't who knows but everything that I used in today's video will be listed in the description box below if you guys want to check that out and that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you and if you did, please hit a thumbs up and don't forget to click that big red button that says subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my videos. And as always, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, comments, or you simply want to talk shit, leave it all in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye! Settle back down at